They're the most sought after pieces of gear in all of Minecraft dungeons, and the thrill of finding a unique never gets old. Hello friends, my name is Kodiak, one half of the team behind Legion Gaming, and if you ever wanted the power of Jackie Chan, the speed of Bruce Lee, and wanted to punch your enemies into oblivion, listen up, because today's video is all about the fighter's bindings. Unique items provide you with incredible bonuses in Minecraft Dungeons. They're the most elusive pieces of gear, which means tracking them down can be a huge challenge. If you didn't already know, you'll need to run through dungeons multiple times to unlock every piece of gear that biome has to offer. If you're not sure what gear you have unlocked and what you don't, head to the world map, hover over a biome, and check the bottom left corner of the info panel. Any slots with a question mark means they haven't been unlocked and you'll need to keep searching for the missing pieces. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Fighter's Bindings, an item I think everyone needs to know about. First off, a huge thanks to our friend Nathan Scott from YouTube for helping us get the footage for these fisticuffs. The Fighter's Bindings are unlike anything in the entire MCD universe, and to understand why, we need to take a look at the stats. The Fighter's Bindings have no power, and next to no AoE, but that hardly matters. The item boasts the fastest attack speed in the game. Unlike its common counterparts, the fighter's bindings are unique in that there is no special third attack that slows the momentum of the weapon, which means maximum impact and maximum damage. In terms of design, there's really not much to talk about here with the fighter's bindings. The item seemingly replaces your arms with vambrises, which do look pretty neat, but it definitely doesn't have the same wow factor that some of the bigger weapons can inspire. It's okay though, because it's not always about the way something looks, it's about what that something can do. We unlock the Fighter's Bindings in the Soggy Cave, but like all unique items in the game, it's very possible that you can find a unique at any point. Killing monsters, finding chests, all have a chance to drop a unique item, so explore every nook and cranny if you want to discover these supercharged items. With the right enchantments, the Fighter's Bindings are all you'll ever need, especially once you reach the end game. In the video you're currently watching, you'll notice the insanely fast attack speed coupled with two powerful enchantments. Swirling, which adds extra damage on every third attack, and Radiance, which periodically lets off a burst AoE heal. Because of the incredibly fast attack speed on the items, you'll almost never lose health as you'll constantly be procking Radiance. Now that's not to say you couldn't explore other enchantments, but it's a good way to showcase the true potential of this item. The Fighter's Bindings are all about speed, that much is clear, but with the right tweaks, they can also be about damage and survivability. But that's enough talking, how about we just show you the magic for yourself? We'll leave you with a small montage of footage so you can see the fighter's bindings in action. We hope you enjoyed this showcase of the Fighter's Bindings. We plan on showcasing every unique item in the game, so if you like the video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe to Legion Gaming. We also invite you to join our Discord where you can meet up with fellow dungeon divers, talk about the game, and group up. Finally, if you like our video and want to support Legion Gaming even more, stop by our Patreon page. A few bucks gets you some awesome rewards like custom art and access to our private Minecraft server, so be sure to check it out. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.